Ayan. Punta na tayo dito, class. Sa cash budget. Okay. So, dito, yung discussion natin, gagamitan natin ng Excel. Okay. Para mas malinaw. Okay. So, yung Excel file na to, 17.1, yung table 17.1, same lang nung nakapresent dito sa ebook natin. Okay. Mas malinaw lang yun. And mas okay siya kasi makikita mo dun mismo yung formulas. Okay. Tara, basahin muna natin to. Firms need to forecast their cash flows. If they are likely to need additional cash, they should line up funds well in advance. On the other hand, if they are likely to generate surplus cash, they should plan for its productive use. The primary forecasting tool is the cash budget. Ano ba tong cash budget? A table that shows cash receipts, disbursements, and balances over some period. Ano daw? Cash receipts, ayan, collections. Uh, cash disbursements, ayan, payments. And balances, ayan, over some period. So, for several months, okay? Ayan. So, mamaya nga, ito yung gagamitin natin, no? Na table. Okay, para makikita natin yung formulas mismo. Okay, tuloy natin. Cash budgets can be of any length. But firms typically develop a monthly cash budget like table 17.1 for the coming year and the daily cash budget at the start of each month. The monthly budget is good for annual planning while the daily budget gives a more precise picture of the actual cash flows and is good for uh, scheduling actual payments on a day-by-day -day basis. Okay, so uh, parehas useful, no? Yung monthly cash budget at saka yung uh, daily cash budget. Pero sa sample natin, monthly cash budget yung ipapakita natin. Okay. So dito, may binigay dyan, no? na guide. The monthly cash budget daw begins with a sales forecast for each month and a projection of when actual collections will occur. Tingnan nga natin. Ayan, no? yung projected sales, then yung project, projected collections. Then, uh, There is a forecast of materials purchases daw, followed by payments, no? So, tingnan nga natin. Yan, no? Material purchases. Forecasted, no? Monthly. Tapos, yung payments. Para dyan and sa iba pang mga bagay. Okay. Uh, when the forecasted payments are subtracted from the forecasted collections, the result is the expected net cash gain or loss for each month. This gain or loss is added or deducted from the beginning cash and the result is the amount of cash the firm would have on hand at the end of the month if it neither borrowed nor invested. Okay, so mas magigets mo yan pag ginawa na natin yung table mismo. Yan nga, gagamitin natin si Allied Foods to illustrate yung cash budget. Okay, binanggit lang dyan na uh, last half lang ng 2016 yung ipipresent. So, anim na buwan lang yon. Okay. Then, uh, the rest ng discussion, puntahan na lang natin yung uh, Excel file. Okay. Medyo mahaba-haba kasi dyan. Kasi nakaparagraph. Okay. So, puntahan na lang natin yung Excel file para mas madali nating maintindihan. Okay. So, tara. Ayan dito. Basahin natin. Cash budget. Ayan, ulitin lang natin. No? Statement that shows expected cash flows over a specified period of time. Generally, firms use a monthly budget for the coming year plus a daily budget for the coming month. Monthly budgets are used for long-range planning. Daily budgets uh, for actual cash control naman. Okay. Then, yung pinresent dito, monthly budget ni Allied Food Products. Okay. Dito sa upper portion, no? makikita mo yung input data. Okay. Nagagamitin mo sa pag-prepare nitong budget na to. Makikita mo dyan. Collections during month of sale, 20%. Okay. So, nakalagay lang dito as a note. Assume constant. Don't change. Kasi yung mga naka-blue dito, pwede mo siyang uh, palitan para sa sensitivity analysis mo. Okay. So, mamaya malalaman mo kung para saan yun. So, ayan, daanan lang natin, no? Collections during month of sale, 20%. Collections during first month after sale, 
collections during second month after sale, 10%. Tapos, percent bad debts, 0% naman. Discount on first month collections, 2%. Purchases as a percentage of next month sales, 70%. Lease payments, uh, fixed siya, no? $15 per month. Then, construction cost for new plant, October lang, $100. Tapos target cash balance na $10, buwan, buwan Okay? So itong target cash balance, tingnan lang natin yung definition niya dito sa ebook. Ayan. The desired cash balance that a firm plans to maintain in order to conduct business. Excuse me. Nagdighay pa ako ng konti. Ayan. Then after nung target cash balance, makikita mo dyan, sales adjustment factor. 0% naman. Okay. Again, yung mga blue dyan, pwede mong palitan mamaya sa sensitivity analysis. Okay. Puntahan na natin mismo yung budget. So again, uh, sabi kanina, no, may monthly projection daw ng sales. Tapos sinabi na 6 months lang o last half lang yung pinresent dito as example. Pero binilang mo yung buwan, ano? Ilang buwan yung pinresent? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Walong buwan. Okay. Ito lang yung last half eh. Highlight natin ah. Ah, uh, ayan. Bakit kaya pinresent pa yung May and June? So, mamaya makikita mo. Okay. So, gamitin na natin yung input data dun sa taas, no? So, ah, uh, tingnan muna natin. Yung sales daw for July, 300. For August, 400. Then, and so on. Ayan. Tapos, yung collections. Pupuntahan mo na, ano? During month of sale, uh, ilang percent daw yung nakokollect na during month of sale? 20% daw, no? So, sa mo makikita yan? Dito sa taas? Ayun, 20%. Highlight natin, na Mas okay yata kung kulay yan, ganyan. Ano bang kulay yan? Orange. Orange. Ayan. So, kulay orange. Yung highlight lang natin, no? yung mga nagamit na natin na data. Okay. So, 20% daw no? uh, during month of sale. So, paano na-compute itong 59 dito? Uh, may technique sa Excel no? para makita mo yung formula na mas mabilis. F2 mo. Yan, pindutin mo lang F2. Makikita mo yung mga uh, figures na ginamit. Okay. So, 300 times 20%. Try mo nga, magkano yung makukuha mo? 60 dapat, no? Bakit kaya 59? Tingnan mo dito. May discount kasi. Okay. Discount on first month collections. Uh, uh, 2%. Okay. So, yun highlight din natin. Okay. So, ang ginawa dyan, yung 300 minultiply dun sa ating uh, 20%. Tapos, minultiply ulit sa 1 minus 2% para makuha yung uh, net of discount. Ayan. So, try mo nga. 300 times 0.2 times uh, 1 less 0 0.02. Okay. Nakuha mo. 58.8. So, round off mo. 59. Try nga natin. Okay. Ayan. 58.8 siya. So, na-round off lang. Kaya naging 59. Okay. So, ito rin, i-highlight natin, no? Tingnan natin yung collections ni July. Highlight lang natin ang blue. Okay. So, 59 na yung na-collect, no? Kay July so far. Okay. Paano yung natitira sa 300? Kailan kaya siya makokollect? Tingnan mo dito sa input data. Collections during first month after sale. So, 70% daw. Next month pa makokollect. Okay. So, Kung next month pa yan, anong buwan kaya yan makukolekta? Tama, August. So, uh, dito, may collection ka sa buwan ng August. Pero yung collection na yan, nagpa-pertain sa sales mo nung July pa. Okay. So, tingnan mo ulit yung formula. Pindutin mo F2. Yan. So, 300 times 70%. Okay. So, highlight natin tong 70%. Para alam mong nagamit na natin. Okay? 
Tingnan mo nga, may natitira pa ba? Meron pa. Okay, kasi 80% pa lang 'yun nakokolekta, no? Yung uh, an 90 pa lang, 90% pa lang. So, yung natitirang 10% kailan daw makokolekta? During second month after sale. Okay. So, second month after sale, ibig sabihin September pa. Try mo nga. Ito ba 'yon? Yes. So, 300 times 10% nakuha yung 30. Highlight ulit natin ito ng blue. So, try mo nga i-add. Uh, 60. O yung 59 kasi. May discount. 60 plus 210 plus 30. 300 ba yan? Yes. Ayan yung for July. So, hindi lahat na kolekta ng July. Yung iba na kolekta sa mga susunod pa na buwan. Okay. Tingnan mo dito. Sa buwan ng July, meron tayong mga hindi na highlight. So, saan kaya yan galing? Tama, sa previous months. Kaya pala binigay pa yung data ng sales dito for May and June. Okay. So, yung June, uh, tingnan mo ha. Uh, kung saan galing to ha. Uh, wait, F2 kasi dapat. F2, ayan. So, galing yan dun sa sales nung June na 250,000. Minultiply sa 70% kasi nga, collections during first month after sale. Okay, so nakolekta siya July pa. Okay. So, lagyan mo lang ng highlight ulit. Ito. Ibahin natin ang kulay. Tapos, ganun din yung dito sa 25, no? Galing lang din to, doon sa June sales. Okay. Ayan. Then, itong 20. Galing to sa May sales. F2 mo. Ayan. Ang kita mo. Uh, 200,000 times 10%. Okay, sana nasusundan mo, no? Highlight mo lang para uh, maganda. Okay, so yung ginawa natin dito, wait lang. Uh, gagawin lang natin sa mga ibang buwan pa, no? Sa mga succeeding months. So for August, uh, nakokolekta 20% during the month of sale, no? So 400 times 20%, times dun sa 1 uh, minus the discount rate. Okay, so ayan. Naka-formula lang yan. Try mo. Gusto mo. 400 times 20% times 1 minus 0.02. Nakukuha mo dyan yung uh, 78.4. Okay. Tapos, yung uh, ibang portion ng sale na yan, makukolekta mo sa mga susunod na buwan. Gaya ng September, which is 70%. Tapos, October naman, 10%. Okay. So, gawin mo nga to On your own. Siguro, post mo na lang yung video. Okay. Hanggang ma-fill out mo lahat ng uh, cells dito. Okay. Then, kapag nagawa mo na yan, i-total mo lang yung collections. Yan, naka-formula. Sum, yung uh, from 22 to 24 na row sa column I. Okay, so ganun lang din yung ginawa dito. Yan, okay. Collections. Okay, so next natin na row, kinuha yung purchases, no? So, Dito, uh, purchases, nakalagay dyan, 70% of next month sales. Nakalagay rin naman dito yun, no? Sa input data. Purchases as a percentage of next month sales. So, tingnan mo dito. Pati yung June, uh, nilagyan ng data, no? So, saan galing to? Sa sales, no? Uh, susunod na buwan. So, forecasted sales ng susunod na buwan. Okay, baka magtaka ka. Paano kaya malalaman to? Eh, sa susunod na buwan pa, yung data. Forecasted yung mga figures dyan. Okay. Kaya, uh, mm, estimates lang ito. Okay? Ayan. So, galing nga yan dun sa July sales na 300 times dun sa 70%. Yan. Okay. Then, gagawin mo lang yan sa mga susunod pa na buwan. 400 naman para dito sa July. 400 times 70%. Then, uh, dito. 500 times 70%. Then, yan. And so on. Gawin mo lang ng gawin. 
Okay. Tapos, para dito sa December, hindi mo siya makukuha kasi walang data ng sales for uh, January ng susunod na year. Okay. Okay lang yan. Kasi ang kailangan mo naman makita dito is yung payments. Okay. And yung payments, uh, wait, highlight natin tong 70% para alam natin na nagamit na natin. Okay. Ayan. Yung payments, ayan. So, assumption dito, no? Na uh, babayaran uh, yung binili mo last month. Okay? Babayaran mo yung purchases mo last month. Okay? So, ayan. So, yung purchases nung June, binayaran nung July. Dito mo yan makikita. Ayan. Then, yung purchases ng July, babayaran mo August and so on. Okay? Then, wages and salaries. So, dito, assume lang din yung figures dito, no? So, given lang yan. So, uh, $30,000, $40 uh, dollars pala, okay? In thousands ba to? Uh, in millions pala. So, $30 million, $40 million, $50 million, and so on. Tapos, itong lease payments, nakita mo, fixed naman, $15. So, ayun yan, no? Given dito sa input data. Lease payments, $15. Okay, then other expenses, ayan, iba-iba rin. Tapos, uh, taxes. So, dito, nagbayad ng tax uh, ng September and December. Okay. Tapos, dito, meron pa. Payment for plant construction ng October. So, dito, given yan. Construction cost of new plant. October, 100, ayan. So, assume na yan lang lahat yung mga babayaran, no? Buwan-buwan. So, itototal lang natin yan. Sum, yung mga bagay-bagay na to. Okay. Okay. So, gawin nga natin, no? Para medyo matutunan mo. So, burayin lang natin. So, para mag-sum, gawin mo lang. Equal sign. Tapos, uh, type mo yung sum. Tapos, open parenthesis. Then, highlight mo yung mga gusto mong i-add. Okay? Tapos, yan, kunwari, buburahin natin to. Okay. Para maging same yung formulas dito sa mga susunod na to, highlight mo lang, tapos, control R. Okay? Yan. O kaya, i-drag mo na lang. Pwede ba yun? I-drag. Hmm, try na natin. Wait lang. Ayan. Okay. So, pero, mas okay kung keyboard lang yung gagamitin mo. Mas uh, nakakatuwa. Okay. So, ayan. So, ayan na yung totals ng payments. Anong next mong gagawin? Uh, Pagsusubtractin mo lang yung total collections and yung total payments. Ayan. So, F2 mo, makikita mo, sinubtract lang yung 254 sa 265. Nakuha yung negative 11. Ganun lang din yung ginawa sa mga susunod pa na buwan. Okay. Mas maganda kung practicein mo pala to sa papel, no? Hindi sa Excel. Kasi nga, hindi ka naman pwedeng gumamit ng laptop habang nag exam ka kapag face-to-face -face na yung klase. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then, makukuha mo yung Cumulative uh, net cash flow. Yan. So, simple lang yan. pag a mo lang, no? So, dito sa July, syempre, yun pa lang. Then, dito sa August, yung cumulative, i mo lang yung July and August. Ayan, no? Kita mo? 11 para sa July, tapos uh, August 37. Okay. Tapos, ayan. Ganyan lang yung gagawin mo sa mga susunod pa na buwan. Cumulative nga, no? Ayan. Tapos dito, sa susunod, dyan mo nagagamitin yung target cash balance mo na $10. Ayun, no? Highlight natin. Ayan. 
So para saan ba yung target cash balance? Balikan nga natin definition, baka nakalimutan mo. The desired cash balance that a firm plans to maintain in order to conduct business. Okay. So kasi nga, yung net cash flow dito is negative 11, no? Tapos, uh, ang target cash balance natin is $10. So bitin na bitin itong negative 11. Anong gagawin natin para ma, uh, magkaroon tayo o o uh, o ma-maintain natin itong $10 na target cash balance natin. Mangungutang tayo, ayan oh. No? Loan needed. Okay, so pag positive yung amount na nakuha dito, ano bang formula nito? Ayan. So yung cumulative net cash flow minus yung target cash balance, ayan. Makukuha mo yung surplus cash or yung loan needed. So kapag negative, kailangan mong mangutang. Okay. So negative tayo, no? Mula Uh, July, tama ba? Mula July hanggang October, negative yung ating surplus cash. Okay. Kasi, ayan, no? $11, negative 11 minus 10, so negative 21. Negative 48 minus 10, negative 58. Negative 105 minus 10, negative 115. Okay. Then dito, negative 61 minus 10, negative 71. Noong November lang tayo nagkaroon ng positive o ng surplus cash. Okay? So, ayan. Ayan. So, uh, from here, pwede mong makuha yung data no, ng maximum required loan. So, yung negative, yung pinakamalaking negative dito, yan yung maximum required loan. Which is yung 115. Ayan. Ng anong ba to? July, August, September. Okay? Nung buwan ng September. Okay. So, freeze nga natin yung uh, pains dito. Para hindi tayo nawawala. Alt, W, F, F. Yan. So, frozen na. Hindi na mawawala dyan yan. Okay. So, ayan. 115 para sa buwan ng, uh, ng September. Then, yung next na pwede mong makuha yung maximum available for investment. Yung pinakamalaking positive naman. Which is, sa, uh, sa buwan ng December. $77. Okay. Ayan. So, ayan ang cash budget. So, yung sinasabi natin kanina na sensitivity analysis, no? Ayan. So, pwede mong bago-baguhin yung, yung data doon sa taas. So, alisin natin yung pagkaka-freeze. Ayan. Itong mga highlighted dito, pwede mo siyang bago-baguhin. Tingnan mo kung ano yung epekto sa maximum uh, uh, required loan and sa iba pang items. No? So, try natin dito. No? Nung zero yung bad debts, magkano daw yung maximum required loan? 115. Paano kaya kapag naging 1% yung uh, percentage ng bad debts? Magkano kaya yung maximum required loan? So, try nga natin baguhin. Tingnan mo dito. Ha? Naka-formula naman kasi ito. Eh, 115. Ito yung tingnan mo. Ha? Magbabago ba yan? Try natin. Palitan natin yung uh, percent ng bad debts. Gawin natin 1. Ay, bakit Q? Yan, 1. Wait, 1 percent. Yan. Nagbago ba? Nagbago, naging 122. So, tama ba yung nakalagay dito? Ayun, no? 122. Tama siya, no? Ngayon, try mo kung 2 percent. Tingnan mo kung magiging 130. Uh, say 2%. Yan. 2%. Naging uh, 130 ka ba? You know. Naging 130. So tama. Okay. So para sa sensitivity analysis. Yung. Uh, yung figures na nasa taas. No? Para pwede mong i-analyze further. Yung iyong cash budget. Okay. So. Ayan. Sana natutunan mo paano mag-prepare ng cash budget, no? Hindi lang dito sa Excel, pati sa papel. Kasi nga, hindi mo pwedeng gamitin yung laptop mo o yung computer mo kapag face-to-face -face classes na. Pero na lang kapag laboratory, no? Yung pwede tayong gumamit ng PC. Okay. So, tara. Balikan na natin yung e-book. Ayan. So... Ayan, pwede mo namang basahin yung paragraphs dito. Okay. Ayan, so basahin lang natin, no? 
Allied's treasurer will need to arrange a line of credit so that the firm can borrow up to $115 million, increasing the loan over time as funds are needed and repaying it later when cash flows become positive. Yan. Kasi nga, 115 yung maximum na uh, loan requirement mo. Ayan na. Ah, wait, nagbago nga pala tayo dito ng percentage ng uncollectability. So, balik natin sa zero. Makukuha mo dyan yung 115 million. Okay. Ayan. Tapos, and the treasurer would show the cash budget to the bankers when negotiating for the line of credit. Lenders would want to know how much Allied expects to need, when the funds will be needed, and when the loan will be repaid. Okay. Tapos, ayan. Lenders would, uh, ano daw, ano? Uh, sabi dyan. Uh, the lenders would question uh, the treasurer about the budget. They would want to know how the forecasts would be affected if sales were, were higher or lower than those projected. Tapos, how changes would affect the forecasts when customers pay and the like. So, dito nga papasok yung sensitivity analysis. Okay. Note that if cash inflows and outflows do not occur uniformly during each month, the actual funds needed might be quite different from the indicated amounts. Ayan. Okay. So, ayan. Basahin mo na lang to. Uh, kung may time ka pa. Pero basically, ayan naman yung preparation ng cash budget. Okay. Ayan. So, itong uh, Excel file na to, uploaded naman to sa canvas nyo. Okay. So, explore mo na lang siya. Uh, kung gusto mo pang i-analyze further. Okay. So, stop muna natin yung recording. Inum muna ako ng tubig. Hinihingal na ako eh. Yan.